Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much could depend on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos, news update. On Haneze, Ozodema, accessories of emo killings. That's according to OYC. Now, On Haneze Youth Council, now led by Comrade Ibayaka or Ibayaka, have made serious or heavy or weighty, if you like, statement, very weighty statement that On Haneze Ndibo, and the governor, also them by of Imo State, they are making collabo in the killings in Imo State. That's what the youth body is saying. Of course, it's no longer news that Governor Zodema is responsible for the killings of Imo youth since inception of his administration or since he assumed office as the governor has been declared by the Supreme Court. Yes, he has been responsible for the killings in Imo State. There's no doubt about it. So he's the chief insecurity of South Imo. But the youth body is saying now that Oneze, led by Chief Emmanuel Iwanyang, they are doing collabo with the Hope Ozadema government in the killing Imo youths. Yes. They said, look, that Oneze and Ibo under Chief Emmanuel Iwanyang has wronged her hands and had her mouth muted when about eight Odulu youths were butchered in their prime by the demonic blood sucking cult known as cult known as Ebubag Ebubag under the behest and instructions of Governor Hopus the youth body said on his indeed national executives were always basking in the comforts of their homes, sleeping under air conditioned apartments, when over 170 houses were burnt down in Oguta, with over 50 people killed. They went on to say that even in the sacrilegious faces of the Kanajis, the dastard destruction of life's property and the failure of bloodbath that took place in Oru, Osu, Oru East, Oru West, Ohajiboma, Oguta, Ngobala, Owele Municipal, Owele North. Okigwe, Isia Lambano, Ehimembano, Okigwe, Mbise, Idato Not, and Njaba. He said, The so called Ohanes and Debo, worldwide, the parental bodies took to an ominous, unperturbed slumber, unconscionably snoring adamantly with no human conscience to caution Governor Hopus and his murderous political machineries. Now, this is what the Ohanes Youth Council is saying. They are fighting the Ohanes Ndibo, led by Imane Lewanyang. Of course, that Ohanes Ndibo, you know, the youth boys said they have been adamant, they have been silent as these killings have been going on. Of course, uh, the governor of Imo State, who is the ch chief insecurity officer of Imo, is a very close ally of this Imane Lewanyang. Even before he became the president general of Ohanes Ndibo, they have been working hand in glove. So the accusation of the youth body may not be, you know, it, you know, it can be substantiated if well probed. Yes. So it's, there is no it's even issue of allegation, uh, okay? Because, uh, like we have said, they are working, they are allies. Yes, and one of these things has been happening. This person has been remained mute and adamant, has not said anything to condemn the activities of the governor of Imo State. All the invasion has been carried out in Osu, all right? And part of Uri East and Uri West. This man has not condemned it. That's what the honest is saying. And it is true. There's no doubt. Okay. But of course, you realize that this honest youth council and this Emmanuel Wanyamu, they have been very close people. They have been working together. Yes. Now they have an issue. The honest is saying that these people, they were always saying that these honest, they are only interested in money. That also the man is pouring money into them. They are enjoying the booty of Imo people, Imo people's money, they're enjoying it. And the, the, the youth said, the only thing this organization is interested in is, is money, 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 money. They're not interested in the development of the sad East. Particularly the youths who have been killed by also the man. They called this whole thing as, they said, accessory of Imo killings. Yes, they said, also the man and the they are responsible. According to Honeze, they said the Honeze has proven 
that she is a maverick, money-making group led by notorious conspirators with fecal stains on their ears, bankrolled by the arch conspiratorial element like Governor Hobo Zotima, as masterminds of the killings going on in Imo State. Yes, they said since 41 months now. I've seen it. And they said, on oh, and Dibo, they are taking instructions from Ozadema. Ozadema is bankrolling them. So they are obeying him. And if you obey Ozadema in Imo, it then means you are, you know, involved in the killings happening. It's obvious. Nobody in Imo or, you know, within the South Eastern states that will say, tell you that it isn't, it's, not, it's not aware about the people responsible for the killings in Imo. Yes, they know that Uzodema and Buhari, they have killed many Imo youths through Ebubagan, through DSS, through the army, through the police. Various means, even the Air Force. You saw the Air Force bombard bombardment in Osu. Okay? They have left Sambisa, where Boko Haram have taken over. Zafra State, Niger State, these are locations, Kastina State, Buhari's home. You know, the bandits are has taken down those places. They are mesmerizing the people there. And they have come to Imo, you know, where nothing is happening. And they are carrying air raid with their air force. Okay? That's the governor of Imo is doing, the chief security officer. That is his handiwork. They even brought missionaries. Missionaries from outside the Kobo. Yes, they came to Imo and they were killing people under the guise of, oh, a bag. We are fighting insecurity. Where is insecurity? Who created it? So these are the things the youth are saying. But like I've said before, there have been friends, there have been allies, maybe something went wrong. Because all of them are interested in money. All these organizers, no one is saying anything that will benefit the interests of the people of the South East or Biafrans. No. All they are doing is to make ends meet, to make money, to make profit out of the whole organizer. Johannes is supposed to be the body that's supposed to stand firm for the benefit of the Igbo people. It shouldn't be political in any way. It's supposed to be men of integrity that are supposed to man the positions there. So they will speak for the Igbo. As long as we are concerned, nobody is speaking for the Igbo. Only Mazin Khan who has been speaking for the Igbo. And that's why the Igbo have anyone behind him. And so when you talk about sit at home, people are it because they know it concerns their own leader. Who listens to them? Who knows you know, their feelings? But these ones, who they are only interested in money. How to, you know, make sure that their portrait bed did not go down. They want to maintain it, maintain, you know, lavish lifestyle and what have you. So that is it. The youth said they are killers. Oh, they are 